This is for Capricorn, Subtle Rising and Venus signs. For Capricorn, Subtle Rising and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I do appreciate all my Capricorns out here. For my cross watchers, this energy can be resonated. So just be a little aware that as you're tuning in, we got nourishments, replenish, health, self care, rest. Then we have a new story. You decide alignments is coming together. Then we have soul recognition, collaboration, partnership, friendship. Then we have moved on to the goddess, here for the soul, call, gather. Your soul is being called on the journey, Capricorn. We got healing. Your soul is being called to heal. We have healing is happening. You are not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. So for some of my Capricorn, especially for those of you that are feeling broken right now and feeling like you can't get up, Things are going to turn around for you. We got come to me. Attracting like a rose. Receive abundance desires. Everything that you're wanting. Everything that you're putting out there, Capricorn. That is what you're going to receive right now. We got healing in the mother line. Healing. Ancestral work. Mother line. Growing up. Okay, so for a lot of you, you're going to be connecting to your ancestors to heal as well. Connecting to your ancestors is going to be a big part of your healing process for those of you that are single and trying to heal right now. Some of you are in a relationship and trying to heal from different traumas in your life as well. We got this... <clears throat> We got the second bloom. A second chance is never too late. New possibilities. So for some of you, this could be a reconciliation with someone. For some of my Capricorns, this could also just be a second chance at everything. A lot of you feel like you were shut out. A lot of you feel like you didn't get a fair chance. The universe is going to give you that. We got the anointing. Answer the call. Leadership. Empowerment. Soul gifts. They're going to put you in a position of leadership. They're going to give you another chance. They're going to give you a chance that you never thought you would ever get. For a lot of my Capricorns, they feel like they never really got a chance. To show their true colors or to show their light or to show their leadership skills. The universe is about to give you a situation to where you can do so. We got the crowning, initiation, thresholds, the rebirth. This is you showing yourself in a different light. We got becoming brown, grounded, embodiment, living in the connection, stability. Then we have wastelands. Slow down, tend to your garden. Don't forget where you came from, Capricorn. There's a lot for you. For those of you that are trying to prove your innocence in a situation, whether somebody lied on you, this is a relationship situation or a leadership situation, we got the rose garden in the sun. Things are going to work out in your favor. Looks like justice and judgment is going to work out in the favor of Capricorn. So whoever's in the way, they might want to get out the way. What's coming in for Capricorn right now? Looks like in about five days to five weeks, you're going to be making a big decision. A friend is going to be giving you some advice within the next two weeks. It's up to you if you want to take this advice. I'm seeing it's going to be helping you moving forward as far as um, a business project for some of you. For a lot of you, this is a business project. For some of you, this is relationship advice. It looks like tomorrow you're going to be receiving that call for those of you that are waiting on a call business-wise. For those of you dealing with an Aries, it looks like between one week to one month, you could be making things official with this Aries. For those of you dealing with another Capricorn or a Gemini, I'm seeing within the next three to five weeks, things could be going to the next level as far as your relationship. You know, of course, take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. I do appreciate all my Capricorns out here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment as well. We got some Aries energy. Somebody's definitely dealing with Aries. Looks like an Aries is en route of you right now. We got some Scorpio energy. We got protection. So um, if you're dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, the universe is wanting you to protect yourself sexually and emotionally from this person because it looks like they could be planning on walking out you could have already seen this coming instead go after what makes you fulfilled somebody could be 35 somebody could be 36 but those of you dealing with an aries or a scorpio there is some type of power struggle in this relationship we got some capricorn energy we got leaving so it might be you that actually decides to walk away it's going to be you capricorn this is your energy this could be the person that you're dealing with if it's not you somebody could be 33 we got romanticism this could be how you're feeling about a Pisces right now. Some of my Capricorns are going to be going after a Pisces. Somebody could be 33, maybe 24. I'm seeing some of you are trying to heal from a Pisces right now. You could have felt like this Pisces was jealous of you. Some of you were dealing with another Capricorn. You felt jealousy from this other Capricorn. I don't get it's like a jealousy like look-wise. I'm getting it's more of your life altogether. Maybe you had an easier life than them or they had an easier life than you. It's some type of jealousy of compare, comparison here. This could be a Cancer. 
You could be having dreams about a cancer. A cancer could be having dreams about you. Somebody could have a seven-year-old. Somebody's dealing with a Virgo. We have self-confidence. So for a lot of my Capricorns, in order to get to the next period of your life, self-confidence is going to be a big thing for you. Self-confidence is going to be extremely important. Somebody could be 27. We got organized the mind. Somebody could be 31. We got honor in the past. So for a lot of my Capricorns, this is not forgetting where you came from. This is not forgetting where you came from and where you're going. Somebody could be 31. We got confidence. Confidence is going to be so important for a lot of my Capricorns, especially for those of you that are trying to step into a new prime in your life. Somebody could be 21. I am seeing somebody do some type of spiritual work. This is creating a new dynamic for you. Somebody can have an 11 year old. This spiritual work that you did, this was to protect your energy. With dream work, creating and protection. This is you creating a protection, a spiritual protection, and you know, overall just setting those boundaries. Can't nobody play with you. I'm getting this where a lot of my Capricorns are at right now. We got purifications, prosperity, and communications. So a lot of you had to cleanse your energy in order to be able to even have a conversation with a person. I'm getting this somebody that is wanting to have conversate with Capricorn, wanting to say something to you, but I don't think that you even want to have a conversation with this person because you want to clean your energy. This could be a Sagittarius for some of you. We got a lot of Sag energy showing up. Some of you had a sexual encounter with a Sagittarius. This is not a good idea. It's almost like you made a deal with the devil. I'm getting a lot of you could have cut off a Sagittarius or maybe a Sag walked out of your life recently. Somebody could be 25. We got some Libra energy. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. We got creating a new self. This is a lot of my Sagittarius. Mm, excuse me. This is a lot of my Capricorns trying to rebrand themselves right now. We got the truth behind illusions. So for those of my Capricorns that feel like they're having an illusion period going on in their life, shit just is not coming together. It is truth behind this. This could be with a Pisces or a Taurus for some of you. We got the temptation of pleasure. The indulging in the impossible pleasure. Some of you, if you have not gave into this person sexually yet and you're getting a bad vibe and they turn you on really sexually, but it's like everything else you know is bad and they just aren't a good person, don't give in. This is your warning. It's up to you if you decide. I don't know what's going to come from this. This could be a Leo for some of you. This could awaken some feelings that you don't need to have for this person because you had a sexual encounter with them. This could be a soul talk, so be careful. I do appreciate all my Capricorns. I am still doing 7 for 5 questions for Capricorn. The cash app is D-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. The email is there for at gmail.com. Let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck. Be careful. Somebody got some devil energy, and we got pleasure. So... Somebody that you're having a sexual encounter with right now might not have the best intentions for you. Thank you.